It's crazy, dude. This shit is nuts. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, thanks for coming back. Hey, no problem, man. No problem. Yo, so we were just talking about something before we uh before we started this shit. What were you saying? Yeah, no, actually, I was saying um ever since this uh, coronavirus has actually came out and a lot of people stopped moving around the earth, there's been less vibration. And there's this thing up north. I don't know exactly where it is, but they uh, they actually recorded that, that there's less vibration in the earth nowadays. What? Crazy. Um, I, Like, are you talking about, like, the earth's magnetic field or... Like earthquakes, or what are you talking about? I'm talking about less people walking. So, well, you know, one, I mean, one thing that I was just thinking about like yesterday was just the fact that me and my mom were talking about this shit. That, you know, you got less airplanes in the fucking air, less, less airplanes emitting fuel into the ozone layer. And not only that, but a shitload of cars are being taken off the fucking, uh, off the grid. So, yeah, I could see. How I don't know. I mean, I I would assume that it's having a positive effect on everything that's going on. Oh, it's definitely having a positive effect for sure. Oh, you, you know, know what? You know what? Crazy thought, real quick. Yo, so we're recording, right? How many people get affected and how many people are dying? But we can never really get a grasp on. Do animals have it? Yeah, no, no, no. Actually, animals, I have been getting a grasp on that. You know, the main, the main, <clears throat> and, and you can watch this on Joe Rogan's podcast, but the main, uh, like, one who's catching the disease are deer. Deer are the main animals that deer. are catching. Yeah, white-tailed deer to be specific. No way. I swear. No, I swear. And you can catch it on this. And when, he, when you look up the uh, the podcast of Michael, Michael Olsterholm, that is the main uh, conspirator in this disease when it comes to animals. Now, I can tell you this shit. I can't tell you this shit. Um, the truth of the matter is, I don't know. You might call me cr- fucking crazy when I say this shit, John. But we just had we we just bailed out of that uh, that, you know, that climate change deal that France had. Yeah. Think I mean like try and connect the dots for a second. Try and connect the dots. Do you think that our world has been impacted so far now with the emission situation, with the fossil fuels, with everything that's happening to the earth, and, and we're actually starting to realize something that maybe a major outbreak like this were to stop all transportation or all fucking uh, fuel emissions in order to make the earth better? Call me a conspiracy theorist if you want, but. That might have in 2016 we had we cut out of that climate change deal. Maybe Trump backtracked, bro, and said, "Holy shit!" At the same time, I don't know if you've also heard of this, but we um we just billed China twenty trillion dollars. Did you hear about that? I did not. I don't know. Is that a real thing? That's a real fucking thing. We uh build China. The United States of America build. China and took it to the world courts for twenty trillion dollars in, in respect to yesterday that happened yesterday oh. in in respect to knowing and having hard evidence that China created the coronavirus. Wow, <sighs> that's kind of mind blowing. Yeah, well, I mean, think about this. If if you told me that I owed you fifty grand right the fuck now, I'd tell you fuck you. What do you think? What do you think China's gonna do? China's gonna say fuck you too, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're kind of in debt right now, so. So let's debt. right. So I think Trump's just looking for a fucking cop out, trying trying to cop out of this fucking debt or whatever the case may be. Regardless, I think this is gonna end up going to the to the international world courts and at the end of the day china's gonna say fuck you what happens when when they gotta enforce it right yeah okay dude you know what man i was actually talking about this the other day and i was like dude i can't wait for trump to be out of the office and no i'm not saying that he's doing a bad thing right 
I agree with a lot of the shit that he's doing, and I agree that we need him there for another four years. I do. I, I personally agree with that. True. But the thing is that I can't wait till it's over. So it's not America against Trump anymore. It's just America altogether. Well, I feel, what I, yeah. I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like it's, it's just so divided right now. And they can't get they can't get over that. Oh, Donald Trump is our president. Like I can't, I can't fathom that. Like, dude, he's the president. Let him do his job. Well, you know, honestly, I think, um, and this is another fucking theory, but I think um, the, Trump has done a really good job in in this whole outbreak situation, right? And. Um, Honestly, what I'm thinking here is that maybe, I mean, I don't know, bro. I hate to sound like a conspiracy theorist. I really do. But it kind of seems like a ploy. It kind of seems to like a ploy to to get America united again. Because, yeah, when, when Hillary was running against Trump, this shit was the most divided you've ever seen a country, bro. Like, literally, it was one half versus one half. You could run on the street and it's either a yes or no versus Trump. You know what I mean? Yeah. But... But now since this whole outbreak situation, you start to see that he's making moves on the fucking thing and you start to see him talking to the media a lot more. And he's just basically trying to express his way a lot more. I think he's done a better job throughout now than against his whole entire presidency. And America's starting to become a little bit more united. I mean, I saw. I saw a poll. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you speak after this, but I saw a poll like two days ago where um, 66% of Americans are in approval of what Trump is doing. That's way more than we've had so far. I mean, yeah, his approval rating is going through the roof right now, which yeah. is uh, un like understandable for sure, especially from what he's doing. It better be through the roof. Right. I mean, you, you know, you got to fucking steer us through these hard times. But at the same time, is is everything like like I said, again, I I don't want to make it seem like I'm a conspiracy theorist and I don't want to make it seem like there's there's a ploy or anything, a plot or anything like that. But I am a firm believer of questioning authority always. I mean, that's our God given right, you know to question what is happening to us as Americans, as a country. And with that in mind, I I can easily say, okay, this is approval ratings and everything that he's doing, and just to get us united, conveniently just so happening right before he's gonna he's up for re-election. I mean, yeah, but you're gonna look at that from the left shoe too. Right. I'm looking at it from all sides because I'm not a political and you know this about me, John. I'm not on any side, right? Yeah, well, I mean I get that. I get that. I mean, I, I just I just I just feel like, yo, know, if <laughs> it is okay, crazy times, right? And it just so happens that it's up to <clears throat> you know, twenty twenty presidential campaign, <clears throat> right? And all of this is happening and he's doing well for us. Yeah, I, I, I get that could be like super political. It's I know it's kind of suspicious too, right? I mean, I, I, I kind of get that. Yeah. But man, from the left, from, from the other side looking in, right? Looking, looking from outside the glass in, it's like, man, is that really happening though? Is that really, is that really what's happening? Or is it just really a dark day and then everybody's just, you know, going through it. Well, in the mean, in the meantime, while we're trying to figure this shit out, or if we're even thinking that this is a ploy or anything like that, I don't know if you've noticed, but the economy is tanking. And I don't know how many people, how many of friends of mine on Facebook are expressing how in dire need they got bills still piling up. I mean, no rental agency, my, my entire rental complex, apartment complex this isn't giving any breaks for rental. You know what I mean? And still, I'm not making any more goddamn money. This $1,200, bro, think about this, John. $1,200, what are you going to do with that for your $3,000 bills? You going to wipe your ass with that because you ain't got no more toilet paper? Can't do nothing. Can't do shit, bro. So in the meantime, our economies start tanking. Businesses are failing. People are accruing debt. 
So, I mean, we we might, after this shit is over, bro, when everything comes out at the end of the day, hopefully we leave this shit unscathed. But at the same time, dude, I think, like, we're putting ourselves in a position where we might not be, the United States might not be a world power any longer. <laughs> There might there might not be one two. It, it's it's all about to be. There's, Everybody's there's, going downhill, right? There's no superpowers anymore. There's there's no there's no. Oh, okay, America was the best. Okay, China has you know the biggest population. No, it's just. I, I think after these times, it's going to be the world united. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, you start to see that now, especially because everybody's dealing with this virus. But I think when all push comes to shove, unless we get a cure, unless we get a vaccine right now, dude, it's survival of the fittest. Uh, it's survival of the fittest. Just like nature is always intended. Nature is always intended for those who can survive will survive. Those who cannot, sorry, bye. Yeah, can't cut it. Can't cut it. It's uh, scary times we're going through, bro. It's fucking scary times we're going through. And um, hopefully, hopefully we can catch a break and get through it, dude. And we'll get through this shit together. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear it. But. Right. Yo. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back at it again. Back Any, it. Anyways, bro, we'll get through this shit, bro. We just got to keep a positive attitude. That's what everybody needs to done. And that's that's the most important message that we can pass along to to our audience, right? I mean, really, yeah. That's that's all we can do, man. We just gotta stick through it, you know. Just come together as a fucking nation, and, or as 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 the world, man. As people, as human beings, yeah. just come together and just do what's right. And everybody, just you know, we'll get through it. In the great words of Bob Marley, ladies and gentlemen, don't worry, be happy. Be happy. Yo, did you hear Bill Withers died? No way. Yo, Bill Withers. Who is that? Bill Withers. Who is uh, that? <clears throat> ain't oh. no sunshine when she... <laughs> Only no. sunshine when she's away. Yeah. Sing, yeah. Sing. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. But she's always gone too long. Anytime that she goes away. Yeah. That's who Bill Withers is, Joe Shizzle. That's who Bill Withers is. Great, great fucking artist of our time. Yeah, man. I can't believe he died. Did you see him sing it? Like, I've never like, seen him sing it. Was it. When did he die? Did he pass away today? No, Last no, Yesterday? Uh, three days ago? I think it was three days ago. Damn, dude. I had no idea. That's crazy. Yeah, but it wasn't due to coronavirus. Which is <laughs> crazy part. I, I wasn't going like, to say that. I wasn't going to say No, but I just want to let everybody know that. Ab natural causes? Natural causes. Yeah. Thank God. All right. Well, he was, I mean, he was an old man, so he lived a good life. Uh, yeah, he was like 87, I think. What was he singing 80? about? What was he singing about? Bill Withers, Joe. What was he singing about? What was the sunshine about? Yo, there's no there's sunshine. no sunshine when she's gone, Joe. Oh. oh okay. All right. Hear? I need to I, hear the words. I did, Joe. <coughs> God damn it, Joe! God damn it! <laughs> we can cut that part out. Right? We no, it. we're we're gonna leave that shit in, Joe. God damn it! That just pissed me off, Joe. I want to hear it. I want to hear the song. Listen, listen to it later on your YouTube channel. Listen, guys, thank you so much for sticking around here for this interview. I really appreciate you, John, first off, for fucking coming on. Bud Lights and Bullets, baby. Hashtag, Hashtag Bud Lights and Bullets. Hashtag and Highlanders. Bud Lights Cheers, and Bullets. Buddy. Cheers. Cheers, Joe bro. Shizzle, Joe Shizzle, thanks, thanks for being a backdrop, bro, and uh, I really appreciate you as well. Yeah, Got can you pull that up real quick, guys? Uh, no, I can't do it on Skype, buddy. Can't do it on Skype. No, but, uh, but um, 
everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in again to the Shock Tree, man. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, by the way, just like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Comment if you want. I probably won't reply, as you know me. But um, thanks again for joining us. Take it easy. Good night.